three, two, one. Meow. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm opening some more P.O. Box mail. So, okay. Um, so on Monday I went to the P.O. Box for the third time and I found 14 pieces of mail, which is literally insane. <laughs> I expected five, I found 14, which I'm still not completely comprehending, um, but because I had so many and I really do want to give every single one of them uh, the attention it deserves, I decided to film this into two parts. So part one is already online. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you go watch it because there is some really, really amazing mail in there. I opened the first seven pieces. I just picked randomly. I opened seven pieces and today I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to open the second seven. Before I start, I once again, I feel like I'm a broken record, but I once again want to say this. And that is a massive thank you to all of you guys because in the last, in the last couple of months, my channel has really, really grown. I mean, I am now at 1,800, 1,900 subscribers, which to some may not seem like a lot, but to me, it means the world just to have so many of you guys here with me, crafting along with my videos and letting me know how much uh, you like the videos and stuff and just reaching out to me, telling me your stories. That just means the absolute world. I will not talk too much today, I just, I will get right into <laughs> the mail, but um, this, all of this, like the PO box, just feels like another happy thing, it just feels like I'm a really lucky girl, and um, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, how to say thank you anymore, but it just makes me really, really happy, so, okay, that was a long story. Um, but I'm going to open these meals. Like I said, I already filmed part one of this, so if you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you go check that out first and then uh, come back and uh, see me open some more. So like I promised, I will always cover up your addresses. I do that with this ugly washi type or uh, with a piece of paper, but I will always try and make sure that your mail, is, your address is not shown. <clears throat> And before I start, I do want to say one thing, which is that our mail carrier, Postanel, they like to stick stickers onto things. This basically means, this actually says, return to sender. So luckily they didn't return it to sender. They just, I think it got delivered at the wrong address for some reason, because it's, the address is written on there very clearly, but I think it got uh, delivered at the wrong address. And then it got sent back and luckily, it arrived so they put stickers on everything uh, this one came off really easily this one a little bit less easy this one actually <clears throat> this sticker actually damaged the envelope and I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get it off without damaging the stamp so I don't know why but just mm, just very annoying uh, all right okay Vivian you're rambling I don't even know where to start um, I will start with the one from Rihanna <laughs> already tagged me I'll take off the ugly stickers so yeah like you can see they like to put stickers all over your decorations so I'm very very sorry for that okay so I have to film this whole part again because I covered up Rihanna's address here but I didn't realize that the address was also here so I really hope that it didn't show in the video um, but okay, I have to refilm this now because I obviously covered up your address here. Um, anyway, long story short, what I was talking about is these amazing stamps. I always, when I get stamps from the USA, like when I get mail from the USA with stamps, I mean, it's always a little bit extra special because it seems quite common to use the sticker, which is totally fine, of course, but I always like uh, seeing new stamps and these are really pretty. I mean, I love this USA forever with love and obviously all the flowers and this one with flowers as well I've actually never received these two. So that's always very very cool. Um, let me just zoom out again. Oh I'm I, mean, I completely forget that I still have to pick a tea. So, you know Mail tea a basket. Um, I'm gonna pick a random one today. Yesterday I tried mint tea, but no, I'm sorry that really 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 is not my thing today i'm gonna try something else that i wouldn't normally pick it's 
this one. I really love this little Moomin uh, figurine, I don't know, but this is actually black tea with wild strawberry flavor and although I do like black tea, I don't usually like fruit teas, so that's why I decided to try this out. Ooh, that smells very, very sweet, but you know, this is all about trying out new things and I think I want to keep this because how cute is that? Zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so um, I already talked about this envelope, so now it feels very weird to talk about it again, but obviously um, I didn't want to, you, know, you know, your address. So unfortunately, they covered up some of your decorations with the stupid stickers, um, but it just makes me very happy because of the stamps. I'll just get right into the actual envelope because this is not going anywhere. Um, but Rihanna already tagged me in the picture of her outgoing meal which i think is inside this bubble wrap envelope which is always a lot of fun i i know i have like a little sneak peek of what is coming my way all i saw was the envelope not the meal itself so it's still going to be a big surprise of what is in here i need scissors because this is not working. um and actually Okay, and fun fact, when I received this meal, uh, Rihanna was actually in labor, which is kind of special. <laughs> okay, so um, inside this, uh, and I'll just put it aside because my table was already filling up. Oh, I shouldn't let it get too strong, I think. It smells very sweet. We are gonna see how I like that. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so inside is this pretty little package which I already love. It looks like some sort of flip book. I'm just gonna dive straight in. Oh. Excuse me. I thought from the photo you sent me that it was just going to be like a little letter which already excited me so much. So when I saw that big envelope, I was completely surprised. Um. Many things to use. I hope you enjoy. Letter in the center. Oh, 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 I will enjoy. And this is actually the little envelope that I saw on the picture. This little envelope that says be extra. So, you know, I was expecting this to arrive in my mail, which is already <laughs> kind of cool. And then you send me all of this, which is wow. I am already excited. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It's really handy. I know, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video, but I've been having a lot of, uh, and that was just my second camera dying, but I've been having a lot of focusing issues, which is why I now have a little, um, my computer, my old computer next to my camera so that I can see if I have focus issues or not. I think I have focus issues. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna recharge <laughs> my other camera. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. I'm just gonna open it now because this is too exciting. We have this little cute little envelope that says be extra with this really pretty little bee stickers. And I wanna open this, but I don't wanna ruin it. It's like here. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so we have some. Oh, that's the pretty paper you also use for this flip book thingy. I really do like that. So we have this like vintage looking um, floral paper and these clip outs from airplanes that I could use for vintage mail. We have this patterned, or not patterned, but um, how do you call that again? Embossed paper with like layers. Really cool. Uh, some more airplanes, some more printed paper. I love these colors, little leaves. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, you gave me some of the cute stickers. <gasps> she used, also used these on their envelope. I love these. Let me take a second to look at them. So we have these cute little, oh, little uh, floral and botanical stickers. And I love this little rose. That's so pretty. It looks like uh, those planner stickers you could get on Etsy and a little Volkswagen Volkswagen <laughs> van that's adorable and I'm actually it's kind of cool because I'm actually doing uh, like little spreads in my uh, travel journal like my agenda right now and I could totally use these for this week's spread that's really cool thank you and then we have something else some more patterned paper 
could totally make a spread of this as well. And some of these little gemstone stickers. I, you know, I'm a magpie, so I love that. And then this little um, scalloped envelope that I could, t I'm gonna use this for making mail or like a pocket or something. That's so cute. So these are all like little bits and pieces that I'm going to use for Happy Mail. I actually, I've been doing that a lot in mail lately as well, like sending little pieces of paper because they're so much fun for using in collages and you know, you don't have to send an entire paper pack. You can just share your stash with pieces of mail. And then I'm torn between opening this first or this. I'm gonna open this first. It's packaged in a pretty little baggie and the first thing I see is already this pretty washi sample. <gasps> it looks, I can see flowers and a watering can. You're so, so sweet to send me all of this. Okay, I'm just gonna, okay, usually I will not look at the washi because takes too much time but I'm just too curious right now and yesterday oh my god I filmed yesterday as well for you know the PO box oh that's pretty that's really cute look at all the little flowers oh that's really cute I hope you guys can see I, I have no way of knowing that I, my computer just stopped working with me that's adorable but yesterday what I was saying is yesterday I also filmed like part one and I filmed for I don't know, two hours or something, like one and a half hours. So I'm really going to have to find a way to get that down a little bit because I cannot upload hours of footage every time I open the PO box. I, you guys would get so bored with me. And then we have these cute little envelopes. I think you have like an envelope punch board. Just, I still want to get one of those. That's so cute. I'm definitely going to use these in the meal. And this little envelope. Thank you. And then and this is actually what caught my eye. And these are all tags. And I think, I think that um, I, I got that meal in, I think PO Box opening number two from Bailey. And I think she used one of these tags for her meal tag. So and then I was already kind of Oh, then I was already drawn to it because it's so pretty and now I have some of my own These are so beautiful. I really wonder Well, I feel like I ask this all the time, but I really wonder where you get these Thank you. This is really really pretty and you know, I love tags. I love everything I'm just going to put this aside and now I'm going to open this which is so exciting. First of all, is this a brand? That's really cool. I feel like I always want to know I like when I see something like this, I, I already, I want to buy it immediately, but that's not really, I don't have money. <laughs> I shouldn't. Just trying to, okay. So, okay. So we have this little, oh, you made an accordion folder. Oh, and it's packed with goodies. I wonder, did you follow my tutorial? That would be really, really cool. I really love, I've never received, um, <laughs> that would be so cool if you follow my tutorial. If you didn't, then that's also fine, of course, but I'm, I'm just curious, uh, especially because I love seeing you guys recreate my, the things I make for the channel. So what she made is a little, um, I forget the name of my own meal, accordion folder. So it's like a little file folder. You can make these as big or as small as you want. And she created one with all of these goodies in there. And I think this is actually a bread. That is so cool. I've never seen a bread that big. Okay, I'm just gonna go into the first pocket. Oh, this is so exciting. I actually have these baggies in the smaller version for my Etsy shop. <laughs> so you know that it's my style, otherwise I wouldn't pick it out myself. Okay. So first off, we have some more amazing tags. These are so pretty. I feel like you guys know me so well, like how well everything matches to the things I like. And then these beautiful floral um, stickers here and one, how do you call them? Page flags on the top and some more sticky notes. <gasps> either we have a really, really dissimilar, <laughs> either we have a real similar style or you just really know what I like because I love all of this. 
And then we have this baggie uh, with a lot of items in here. We have this. It's a vellum. Oh, that's pretty. This is like a vellum quote. It says, strangers are just friends waiting to happen. That's beautiful. <laughs> and then we have a pink little ziplock baggie. I will keep it closed for now, but I can see some breads. One of the big breads. That's really cool. Some little flowers and some cute little stickers. Oh, thank you so much. I will, I will put everything back because I always really like uh, keeping it intact for a little bit longer. Then the middle part has this pocket and it has a teacup, super cute teacup on it. So I wonder if it's tea. Oh, there's actually a letter in here and tea, yippee. Okay, so this is, um, I don't know this, how to pronounce this, Tazer, I think it's passion tea. That sounds really, really good. And I can see on the back that there's hibiscus flowers in there. Orange peel. Oh, that sounds really good and it smells very nice as well. So I'm definitely going to try that out soon. And I think this is your letter to me. Uh, yeah, I will read that off camera. Of course, I cannot wait to read it because uh, Rihanna and I have been, you know, in contact here on YouTube and she um, also on Instagram. She messaged me a couple of times. So I'm really, really excited to get to know you a little bit better. And then the last pocket is, oh wow, is this little happy bundle. It's like the big bundle in small. And it's again wrapped with this pretty uh, twine. Eh, these stickers and die cuts. Yeah, a lot of stickers and die cuts. Ooh, this is a cool, funny little envelope. Look, it's like, okay, I don't want to ruin it, but it's like, uh, interlocking. That's kind of cool. And we have some. Okay, I have to be careful not to ruin this envelope. We have some flower. Oh, little flower. A friend quote. Ooh, I love this. I love stickers or die cuts that say hello in like pretty hand lettering because I still, even though I tried, I cannot hand letter. A little flower. Today is a good day for a good day. Well, it definitely is. Look at this. My day has just started and it's already so good. Okay. So that little envelope. And then we have one more envelope. I cannot believe how many little elements you added to this meal. So cute. Take off that. Ooh, and it's again, uh, it's like that little scalloped envelope that you also gave me. So I won't know what to use it for. And then, oh, a little washi type tag. That's really, really cute. I love this one with the banana leaves and the gold one. That's really pretty. Cannot wait to use this. It's such a good idea to like use a little envelope for like this. I don't even, I can't even talk anymore. Okay, I'm going to, oh wait, I forgot one thing. Oh, there's another thing in here. Oh, there's a little shaped paper clip and a cat sticker that says that's a joke, right? That's really adorable. I'm gonna put that in my journal. <laughs> that's so cute. Thank you so much, Rihanna, for everything. All of these cute items. Next up, um, I'm just gonna pick randomly. Uh, this one is on top. The one with the stupid sticker. So we have this pretty little envelope. It doesn't have a uh, return address, but I think. I think it's from the UK, judging by the stamps. I really hope I am correct. But these are so, so, so beautiful. I absolutely love these rose stamps. I mean, I feel like the Netherlands is so behind in having pretty stamps. And I love your envelope, by the way. You have a little cat, cat patterned paper. Um, but there's no return address. So either the return address is going to be in here or I'm going to assume that that means that you do not want me to reply, which is totally fine. Not everyone is comfortable with giving out their home address, which I totally get because that's why I got the PO box. But if you do want me to reply and you just forgot to include your address, whoever you are, please feel free to send me an email. I have my email listed down in the description box below and you can mail me your address if you like, only if you like, you don't have to. If you don't feel comfortable, please know that it's totally okay but 
you can email me and then I can add your address to this and hopefully I'll pick out your mail uh, to reply to you with the subscriber mail. <laughs> it's actually not bad I like I'm always bashing fruit teas but this is like fruit and black tea so it has a little bit of that like the the spicy I don't know the, it has a little bit of that flavor from black tea and then the sweetness from the wild strawberry yeah it's not my favorite but it's actually better than I expected I already see that that camera, the small one, is about to die again soon. Ooh, it looks like a little notebook or something. This is so exciting. So she packed it with a bunch of goodies. Wait a minute. Okay. Something inside the envelope as well, but it seems to be glued down. Can I? I'm gonna try and show you. I don't know, maybe she expected me to open it from the bottom already, but look. There's actually a little fox in there. It's a good thing that I opened it from the bottom, or otherwise I would have ruined the little fox. That's such a cute little touch. Okay, wow. Oh, I actually think I recognize this. Oh no, it's from a book page. Is this a book? Oh man, I'm jealous. I need to find a pretty book like that. That's beautiful. I actually thought because I have letter writing paper that has really the same style, so maybe it is the same brand. That's beautiful. Wow. Thank you for wanting to share that with me. I wouldn't have been able to part with that. If you get the inside right, the outside will fall into place. A little quote cards. Focus on the journey, not the destination. Joyce found not in finishing an activity, but in doing it so true. You never regret being kind. Really pretty. And then we have a washi type sample with these oh, gold, like copper foiled kitties. That's adorable. I love it. Little washi type samples. Um, oh, this is so exciting. We have a little note. Oh. Oh, this is from Emma or Emma Lou. I never know if I can call you Emma or Emma Lou. Oh, I didn't expect that. This is actually from Emma and I've already received mail from Emma once before. I don't think I've showed it on this channel yet. I did film me opening it, but it's in a What My Pine Pals Sent Me video and I just haven't had time to edit them with all of the amazing PO box mail I want to show you guys. But Emma also has a YouTube channel. She also does like paper gang unboxings and fun stuff. And she, like in the little note, it says that she had a couple of notebooks and one of them has grit paper. Oh, which is actually what I'm looking for. And it's colored grit paper. Oh my God, Emma, this is exactly what I was looking for. That's Perfect. So for those of you who are now like completely lost as to what's going on, um, basically in, a, in the summer themed flip book or sunshine themed flip book I made a little while ago, I also made a mini notebook. And for that I, I used some grid paper and some special writing paper from the flow book for paper lovers and i was complaining that they only put in a few pages and i wanted more special grid paper or special colored uh so and emma found me this and that's absolutely perfect this is this is exactly what i was looking for it's like grid paper that i can use for making mini notebooks or something and it has pretty colors too kind and now I also get the stamps because she messaged me that she was looking for pretty stamps well you absolutely succeeded and then we have this spiced vanilla oh and it's actually funny because I sent out a reply to Emma on Monday so I actually because I replied to the little box she sent me and then she sent me some be some amazing smelling tea Sleep tea, spiced apple and vanilla with caramel. That sounds so good. And spiced apple. And although I keep bashing fruit teas, apple and pear is actually not on that list. I love apple tea. I also have some apple cinnamon tea, which is 
the best, but apple vanilla sounds even better. This is really good. I'm, this is actually, I'm really excited to try that. And then we have some more quote cards. This one, this one, this one says, never put a sock in a toaster. Thank you, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> That's so cute. Emma, you really, oh, I'm really a lucky lady. Yesterday, when I filmed the first PO box opening, I cried. I nearly cried, I should say, and I have a feeling that it's gonna happen again. Oh man, I feel lucky, 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 happy, happy, happy. This is always what happens, I just get so excited. Next up, I wanna open, I'm not gonna open it because I already opened it. Blah. But in here is a little letter from Anne. Anne is a, oh, and I didn't realize this until now. It says one of two. Mm. Because in the letter it says that she sent me, oh, it sent, she sent me a letter and she also sent me this little box. <laughs> but in her comments, she kept telling me that she sent me a little letter or envelope. So I, I was expecting this, but not this box that's just so kind and i'm very excited but i will start with a little envelope because it's actually an original i think it's original airmail envelope and i i was really enthusiastic about finding airmail envelopes in the thrift store a little while ago um and the ones i have are actually light blue and i don't know if these are also original or vintage or just new but i, I for some reason i really like this design and it has a little drawing of noose with a flower on it which is adorable and a, a pretty pretty stamp and i actually have to say that they stamped this one pretty well like it's kind of perfect with the lines so well done so i'm not going to show you what is in here just um it was just a really really nice letter from Anne, getting to know her a little bit better and um well she told me about this little box I'm very curious to see what is in here. First of all, we have another nose drawing. Uh, she has a little paintbrush and she's making a mess. And that's actually quite funny because whenever I do like drawing or painting or something where you move something around in your hands, even cutting, nose always tries to grab the end of it. You know, I'm like drawing and then she tries to grab the end of my pencil. So this could totally happen. This is very special. I'm going to see how to open this. And my little camera died again, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. That's so pretty. Oh, you're like, you're really spoiling me, Anne. I really liked your letter so much just to know. You know get a little bit of an idea of who you are and now you're also sending me this that's so cute i love this paper and then this ribbon says hope you like it hope you like it hope you like it and obviously i do already by the outside we have these little puffy cat stickers i'm definitely going to try and peel them off that's adorable i want to see if i can open it without having to rip it yeah and then it's wrapped again Oh, this is so thoughtful. It's already so happy just from the outside. You know how much I love this. Uh, is it crepe paper? I, I always mess up. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. So I'm not, I, I'm not going to show you the inside of this card because it's just a personal letter, a personal note to me and a picture, but that's so... First of all, the card itself, this is, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's like, um, it, it's like a layer on top. So I really wonder how you did this. Really cool. And then the note itself is a little bit heartwarming. I'm already, I'm almost crying again, but it's just a little, I don't know why I'm so emotional over this, but it's just a very kind little message to me. And I really love that you added a picture of yourself so that I finally know who is the face behind the YouTube name. Oh, I'm so amazed by this, all of your creativity. I'm really wondering how you 
did that. Mm. And then um, we have this, first of all, this washi type. It actually looks like a washi type I was looking at from Note and Wish. I don't know if it is, but she also used this on the letter and I think it's very, very pretty. And this is actually soft, so I wonder what is in here. I'm going to try and unwrap it without tearing it, but I don't think I can. Okay, I'm just going to have to cut it because otherwise it's really soft. <gasps> no, we got their cactus socks. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm actually beaming. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't know. The feeling of new socks is like one of the best feelings in the world. Look at them. Little cactus socks and they're striped and I also love stripes. <gasps> This is so cool. Oh my god, this made my day. Actually, uh, a few weeks ago, I received socks in the mail for the first time from my cousin's girlfriend. Um, just like a little touch. And although I love all sorts of Happy Meal, like finding new socks in mail is just, <laughs> it's just the best. I love these. These are my new favorite socks. Thank you so much, Anne. I don't think you expected it to make me this happy, but. Uh, first of all, I love cacti, I love stripes, and I love new socks, so... T for one and club. Okay, I'm completely lost right now. I'm just going to continue, but uh, it's sad that the little camera died because I have a grin on my face. Wow. Wow, I really had timing. Perfect timing, because I went to check on the camera to see if it was still focused, and then I so that it had actually automatically stopped recording. I never know why it does that, but okay. So I already filmed for half an hour. Um, but I was saying that, I was saying something about these little cork, heart-shaped cork tags. So cute, that's like perfect for fall. And I don't even want to use them, I just want to keep them all. And there's more in here. A Happy Meal treat carefully going to cut this open it's like uh, like Christmas or something I'm opening all of these presents do you guys oh that that's a good question do you guys do like Christmas presents because we used to do that but my dad and my oh oh it's a little little um, charm ah I think it's called a charm right please correct me if I'm wrong it's a little mushroom charm that's adorable I just want to say, I don't know if you do Happy Meal and stuff, but you were so creative in like all of the little gifts you found to send to me. This is such a cute little treat indeed. And I was asking, oh yeah, I was telling you guys about Christmas because we don't actually do Christmas gifts anymore um, because it's very difficult to buy presents for both my dad and my brother. My dad just buys everything himself. He has like in Dutch we say he has a hole in his hand, so he cannot hold money, it will just fall through. Uh, and my brother, um, he doesn't want anything, like he's the opposite, he hates spending money on himself. Oh, a cute little notebook. Oh, look at that. It's like a little cactus notebook, I love that. I, I'm absolutely obsessed with cacti, even though I don't... I, I only did one cacti themed meal, but I, I absolutely love this, it's so cute. For like little ideas and stuff and i have one more bag look at all of the stuff you've sent me still so happy with the socks i'm gonna wear them tomorrow my sure make noise a little camera again it's it says that the battery is charged but i have no clue how long this is gonna last and i also want to ask you guys because usually i always ask you but for some reason i just completely forgot <laughs> last time do you guys enjoy the two camera view, like switching between my face and the meal? I really hope so, otherwise I'm putting in a lot of effort and just let me know, like be, please be honest, I'm not going to be angry if you don't enjoy seeing this face um, because I would rather that you guys are honest if you don't like it because it does take me some extra work so you know if it doesn't work out then just let me know. 
Okay, so what I was saying is that we don't actually do Christmas presents anymore. My cameras keep interrupting me. So that's also why I kind of love Happy Meal and stuff and swaps because it, it you know, who doesn't enjoy opening presents? And then we have this final bag that says enjoy with pretty donut washi type. And we have, who is this? Oh, it's some new paper. Oh, this is like the paper that she also used. Where did you get all of this? I love the floral one. Oh my God, it's so exciting. That's really exciting. I love it. I love this color. I love this. This is actually a different, this is actually, I think this is crepe paper. And these are feel kind of different because they're like shiny and polished. Oh, you're so kind. Look at everything you sent me. I don't even know what to say. Um, and actually, oh man, um, the socks. I'm going to put the socks aside. I'm not going to put them back into the mail because tomorrow I have a therapy appointment. And what better day to wear new socks than with a therapy appointment where you can always use a little bit extra uh, like self-care. Like a therapy appointment is the perfect time for some self-care and in my opinion new socks are perfect self-care. But wow and actually fun thing is that I did send mail to Anne but that doesn't really count because she ordered something from my Etsy store and I sent it her way on Monday as well so hopefully it will reach her soon. But that obviously doesn't count because she bought it from my Etsy store, but it just I just think that it's a fun fun little thing to know that I sent her something on the day I found her mail and I also sent Emma something on the day I found her mail. But that doesn't count. So you're still going in the happy meal pile to reply to. I feel like I've already filmed for so many hours and I still have three three huge packages to go through. You guys have spoiled me rotten. This is actually quite funny. This is Happy Meal number three from Katarina. If you don't know who Katarina is, Katarina is actually the first person who sent me mail in the PO box, which is kind of special. And um, I say the third mail because yesterday when I did the part one of this video, I already opened mail from her. Like she sent me mail three times now. And in mail, the mail that I opened yesterday, she actually said that that was number three. So this is actually number two. I hope you guys are still following. So this was, this is originally the, the second piece of mail that she sent to me. And I'm really curious to see what is in here because she makes the most thoughtful little things. And she made drawings of me and nose. Let me see, is this, am I supposed to take that out or should that stay in there? I don't know. I don't know, This the inside is also decorated but it's like glued to the side. I think this is meant to stay in here, right? But she also decorated that, I hope you can see. Maybe this is like mail she received. Or if I am supposed to take it out, No, but it's it's like the the outside of the envelope is really glued to that. So I think that oh, I think that I meant to leave it in there. But wow, look at that. This is you're so sweet. Look at this. This is really big. It says "Hello, Vivian" with these uh, wooden letters, which is really cool. And then a little note in the back. I'm completely blown away by you, by this. And again, she used one of the, those beautiful stamps that I absolutely love. Like this, uh, this, I don't know how you call it, but this twine seems to be a recurring object in the meals I receive these days, but it's perfect for fall. Okay, so we have, I think this is like a little, Oh, this is such a coincidence. Look, it's like a fold out envelope and I actually made one of these yesterday. But I'm going to start with this little envelope and I think it's made out of coloring book pages, which I love. I also do that. We have a little pouch for when you need to fidget. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. It's like a little... Um, I, 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 don't, I, ha I don't actually have a word for it, but it's like... 
when you're stressed it's like a stress reliever this is actually so satisfying there's like a little a bigger i don't know the word in english a bit a knicker what's a knicker a knicker is like something kids play with it's like a glass ball and you can throw it and i don't remember what you used to do with it i think you were supposed to get it in a hole or something it's like a little ball there's one of those in there and then a lot of smaller ones this is really satisfying and i love this little uh the fabric he chose that's so original by the way i never i've never seen anything like it but i already feel like i don't want to put it down <laughs> so that was in this little baggie and then they open it wow wow you made so much from me again maybe you're spoiling me katarina <sighs> this says handmade well oh it's a little like a little banner oh it's a little um uh my i'm really having trouble talking today because i'm so overwhelmed it's a little butterfly i keep finding myself trying to speak in dutch instead of english but it's a butterfly and in dutch a butterfly is a vlinder 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 i really like that word and again this is where i feel like i need that craft room i'm going to save all of this so when i finally do have my craft room i already have enough to fill the entire the entire wall but that's really pretty i cannot believe you made all of that um and then we have something what is that oh little charms oh either you have a lot of stuff katarina or you're sending all of your supplies to me oh i feel so spoiled and a little bit guilty because you know you're really <laughs> you're really spoiling me so we again have these beautiful buttons with little patterns on them and this little charm like a necklace charm that's so cute really really pretty thank you i'm just going to put it aside for now and then oh so many little touches this little sticker says for you i love that idea by the way making like little envelopes out of puzzle pages and in there are some cute little stickers Oh, this is so precious. I've actually never ever found one of these. Look how big it is. That's really, really cool. And the silvery one, that's cool, man. I really, I'm like, I, it, well, sorry. Whenever I see one of these, I find it hard to believe that it's actually made by a little tiny animal. Don't you agree? That's so cute. All these personal touches, Katarina, I love it. And then there's a bunch more here. Again, we have a pretty collage with a kitty and some flowers. And we have a, a little handmade card, or at least I think it's handmade. Really cool. Handmade card, some pretty fabric. So I think that you are, um, so she told me in, in the the first letter that she's homeschooled so she has a lot of time for sewing and um, drawing and stuff and i think that well i wish i was homeschooled if i see everything you make then she in included some facts about the Czech republic obviously um, read later and then we have this i don't actually know what this is is this an animal or nature i don't know but it looks really cool and then we have this pretty card looks like something you could buy in a museum or something really cool and oh a kitty coloring page oh there's a lot of coloring oh they're all kitties oh look at that so we have a kitty coloring book page and on the back there's more kitties oh this one is also cute it's like a kitty mandala more kitties oh these are so cute and this one on top of a bunch this is noose noose on top of a bunch of pillows i don't actually know where is she now oh that's so sweet thank you so much for all of these goodies katarina you're really spoiling me really really spoiling me look at all of this 
And I cannot wait for my craft room so I can hang up this little banner. Yeah, I love it. So special. Like I love everything in meal from a handwritten letter to uh, pictures to whatever to goodies of course I, I mean i'm not gonna complain about the goodies but i also really like the handmade touches because i wish i was that creative so i'm just putting it all aside right now because otherwise it's going to take me a lot of time to put it back into place and now i have two more i have this one which is very heavy and this one which is very big and i don't know which one to open first I'm gonna open this one first. Actually, it's already open, uh, but I didn't do it. <laughs> um, but I think, I don't know. I hope nothing fell out. We're just gonna have to wait and see. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh, part of my book page is long. I completely forgot to tell you about the envelope, but this is from Lena from Germany. I hope I said that correctly. And uh, she decorated the page with this beautiful floral cutout and the book pages and some cat stickers. I always love the floral stamps from Germany. I just wish, I'm gonna say it once more, I wish we, wish we had floral stamps and oh, we do have them but they're not as we don't have that many i'm gonna stop complaining now but okay first thing i noticed when i open it is these beautiful beautiful um butterfly book pages and it says you said that you can't ever find these book pages of butterflies i hope you like them i love them and i, I love how there is like um a picture of a boat on the back so I don't have to feel guilty about cutting them out because I'm not ruining anything on the back oh, this is so special and then we also have some beautiful ones with plants and again on the back there's something I don't really care about so I can just cut it out without feeling guilty thank you that's really nice I'm just gonna take out the rest now because I got totally destroyed ah. <laughs> noose you're so funny, she put, these are for your cat. I hope she likes them. She loves cat sticks. You know what, I don't know where she is right now. No, I suppose. But I'll find her at the end of the video and I will, we will see if she likes them, okay? I'm sure she will. And then, wow, we have this beautiful vellum paper wrapping and I'm totally going to reuse this because look at the beautiful flowers and then, through this I can see yay wow. I really have to stop but okay through the paper which is already beautiful I don't want to take anything away from that I already saw chai this is actually one of my favorite brands they very often have this brand in restaurants when you order chai latte and I absolutely absolutely love that I am totally going to make this this is I've been looking for this since forever. Ah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I like tea, but if there's something I like more, it's actually chai lattes. Mm, creamy. This always happened, happens, I just let my tea go cold. And then we have this pretty uh, sticky ribbon that I will for sure use. And it matches so many fall themes I have in my mind. I don't know where to start. We have, this is her letter to me, I think. I mean, obviously it says to Vivian. Yeah. How pretty this is. I'm going to read that off camera because of, you know, privacy, but thank you so much, Lena. I will definitely enjoy this. I love how it's uh, a longer letter. You know, I love reading letters. So I cannot wait to get into that. We have this little envelope and this bigger one. Oh, they're all teas. I'm getting so hyperactive, like, I need to calm down, but focus, Vivian. Okay, first of all, how beautiful is this cactus vellum envelope that's going to be reused? By the way, if any of you have like a problem or if you would rather not have me reuse items, please let me know because I always feel like it would be such a waste to just throw this away or keep this forever, but... If you don't want me to do that, then obviously that I will totally um, 
respect that. Okay, I know a little bit of German, so I think I will be able to um, translate. This one just says black tea, I think. But I don't know if this means anything or if it's just a brand. Ostfriesen Tee Fix, I really hope it. I'm, I'm gonna assume this is just black tea. And then we have per, um, Mediterranean peach tea. Okay, like I said, I don't usually like fruit teas, but I have to admit I never tried peach tea. So I'm going to try, I promise I will try. And then we have six herb, six herb uh, something. We have hibiscus flowers, lemongrass, pombia. What's pombia again? I think it's like, what is the word? Bramen? What's Bramen in, in, in English? I don't know what is the word, but they're like the, the blue, not blue berries, but they look like blue raspberries. So blue raspberry um, leaves. I don't know what Hagenputten means. Peppermint and lemon, lemon, lemon something. <laughs> Great translation. And then we have this. Oh, this is like, oh, this is a, a breathe. This is a tea for free breathing so that when you're sick, you can breathe again. So that's good because it's going to be winter soon and you know how I get in winter. And then, oh, we have these cute little stickers. I love letter stickers, absolutely love st letter stickers, but I also love these. They're perfect for in my bullet journal or these would be perfect for uh, address labels, but I have to write really small. These are really, really cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then I, that I put aside that little envelope that looks absolutely adorable. So she mixed um, vintage paper or book pages with that gold foiled washi, which is such a good idea. And in here are a bunch of, <gasps> ooh yay, the cat stickers. So cute. Okay, there's more in here, but they're stuck. Okay, there we go. So we have these little pastel colored cat stickers that you also use on the front which i absolutely love these little stickers cat cats oh and these colors are perfect as well really adorbs and then we have some washi type samples which i also love yay these are like these are perfect for fall look we have this is beautiful man we have the focus vivian brown purplish brown washi type with gold foiled uh, acorns and squirrels and I really like this and I love this washi type that you also used on the baggie I love all of them actually really cool thank you these will be definitely put to good use uh, I love washi type samples so we have all of that and I'm obviously going to read you a letter and I will give this I will try it out with look at the end of this video because I need that little camera and I don't want to move it now because it's finally in the right position so thank you so much for all of that love that chai chai latte mixture because if you guys have had it before you will know that it is the best it's so creamy and sweet and herbal and i love it so thank you so much for all of the nice things you sent me mm. and your address was on there so i'm going to put it in the reply pick pile and then i cannot believe it but we have reached the last piece of meal um I've been filming for so long and I've talked so much and it has made me so excited. Like my cheeks are hurting from all of the grinning. But we have the last one, which is from Anna from Spain, which is kind of cool. And my battery died again, which is kind of cool because I don't often receive mail from Spain. Maybe I need to take more breaks in between so that we can actually recharge. Okay, so I covered up her address here with like a hospital uh, note, <laughs> not really interesting, but I, I think I have to take it off if I want to open the envelope. Something very heavy and fat. Wow, <gasps> Maggie Holmes. Okay, 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 okay. I'm very excited now. I recognize, I think I recognize this paper, at least I have a feeling. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I recognize this paper as Maggie Holmes. 
where it's Maggie Holmes style and I'm not really like a snob in terms of paper or, or craft supplies to use but Maggie Holmes is just a designer that I think is very 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 beautiful and I really love using her paper so I the fact that you use this is also very exciting and it was wrapped this is so clever uh, wrapped with this little eye and then a, uh, a tassel which is very cute and such a good idea I really like that and I don't know which one is the front yeah this is the front so we have this it's like oh my god I don't want to spoil anything for you guys or myself but it's like I don't know how this is gonna turn out and I opened it and like the most amazing smell just wafted towards me I think it's lavender okay 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 Anna you're spoiling me this is beautiful we have we open it like that and then we have this um, left pocket that has first of all this amazing like she made this like that and then she added a little message that says oops I just realized I've sticked this paper upside down sorry seriously don't worry about it but so it's supposed to say XO and now it says OX but obviously I don't mind <laughs> because you know I'm the type of person to put everything all upside down and then we have this pretty little um, paper baggie that's made from I don't know vintage or vintage style paper got it Ooh, look at that oh these are pretty man these are really 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 pretty oh I love this beautiful I love the colors I love the that they're the fact that they're flowers which you know <laughs> I love flowers these are so pretty Wow, thank you. I'm definitely, definitely going to use them for happy mail or my planner or my, you know, <laughs> anything. <laughs> oh, I don't know why, but I love die cuts. Just the fact that they are like kind of more sturdy than stickers. Although I also have a bunch of stickers. I don't know why. I just love going through my die cuts and <laughs> these are going to be added to the stash. And then we have post-it notes from a little lucky clover. Really, really cute. Oh my gosh, you, this looks so professional. Like all of the little pockets and the little... Okay, now I don't know what to do. Is it like something... Oh man, <gasps> look at that. This is actually how you're supposed to do it, I think. Wow. Wow, I've never... I have never, I'm like blown away by this. This is really cool. I'm going to have to recreate that. And yeah, I definitely think this is Maggie Holmes. I recognize the style. Oh my God, but I don't want to spoil it by looking at it t too much. Oh my God, but there's also a backside. <gasps> this is packed full of goodies. Oh my goodness, you are so Boiling me big time. Okay, I'm just going to try not to look at everything at once because it's going to. Oh, this is. Oh my god, I think it's so cool that you use all of that Maggie Home stuff. I absolutely love it. And I have a question because I feel this feels like quite sturdy paper, but did you use like the actual Maggie Homes or did you print it yourself? Because I, I also have a couple of um, the digital packs and I want to try printing it, but it just feels like such a waste. So if you printed this, Anna, please let me know and let me know your thoughts on it. And these are really beautiful. Did you dry these yourself? They're so vibrant in color. Beautiful. I'm going to use them for wax seals. And then we have a notebook. Wow. You guys are spoiling me with the notebooks. Look at this. It's like gold foiled and it's a little cute little notebook. And I have a lot of these like in this meal. I think I got three of these. Okay, so my, my battery is empty, so I really have to be quick now. It cut me off somewhere, I don't know where, but I was saying my goodbyes. Thank you so much again, I'm really, really happy. I'm 
blown away by all of the love and support and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, follow my channel if you haven't already, I have to be quick, um, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to watch my new videos and uh, know that I upload new videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes in between. Okay, thank you for watching, bye bye! Yeah, noose. What's that? Mm. I'm trying to open it with one hand, which is nearly impossible. Let me get some scissors. <laughs> She's already excited. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to do everything with one hand. Okay, noose. We're gonna get sticky. Oh, you're excited, aren't you? I think she's gonna love this. Okay, let me just get a little piecey. Nose. Don't disappoint me. Oh, oh, <laughs> she almost ate my fingers with it. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? More? Please be careful for your human's fingers. Yeah, I think it's quite clear she loves it. <laughs> Say thank you, Nose. Thank you, bye. Give me more, human. Give me more. 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 Mm-hmm.